The head of a troubled hospital chain was supposed to testify on Capitol Hill today, but he was a no show. So now the steward health care chief is facing a contempt of Congress vote and he's under fire for profiting off community hospitals at the expense of patient care. CBS News chief medical correspondent Dr. John LaPook has been reporting on this for years and brings us today's powerful testimony. For nearly two years, CBS News has documented how private equity investors and Stewart Healthcare CEO Dr. Ralph De La Torre extracted hundreds of millions of dollars from struggling hospitals. The executives of Stewart Health Group are healthcare terrorists. They are killing our patients. Today on Capitol Hill, medical workers and local government officials testified about the damage done by the company which declared bankruptcy earlier this year. Stewart didn't pay the vendor and they weren't any bereavement boxes and nurses were forced to put babies' remains in cardboard shipping boxes. These nurses put their own money together and went to Amazon. Missing at the hearing, Dr. Dilatori himself, who requested his testimony be postponed after he received a subpoena. Dr. Dilatori is a coward. Between 2010 and 2021, Stewart bought up more than 30 hospitals across nine states, but a CBS News investigation found that by early last year, unpaid bills had led to shortages of life-saving supplies. In Boston last October, a new mother died after a medical device that might have saved her life was repossessed weeks earlier because Stewart hadn't paid its bills. Stewart Healthcare systematically extracted every possible dollar that they could get out of our hospital until it led to its closure 12 days ago. A key finding of our investigation, private equity-backed companies like Stewart have sold off hospital real estate and instead of putting that money back into care, they've pocketed a large chunk of it. We found evidence of lavish spending, including this $7 million Texas horse ranch Dr. Dilatori purchased in 2022, two corporate jets, and this yacht valued at an estimated $40 million. What would you have done with the $40 million? We'd have beds for patients, we'd have stretchers, we'd have food, staff. diapers, staff. The most of all roads lead to staffing. <clears throat> In a statement, a spokesperson for Dr. Dilatori told CBS News he has done everything in his power to help Stewart overcome numerous industry headwinds and challenges and has invested more into the company than he's taken out. Maurice? Outrage across the board tonight, John. Thank you.